Robot vacuums are taking a huge leap forward this year at CES 2025, and I'm here at the Roborock booth to see it in action. But before we literally pick things up here in this video, we'll take a look at the more classic cleaners and see the continued improvements that Roborock is making in daily cleaning solutions. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara. What's going on, everybody? Here are the latest products from Roborock at CES 2025, including one insane new robot vacuum that can not only clean for you, but also pick up after you. But before we get started, I did want to give a big thanks to Roborock for having me out for CES 2025 and for sponsoring this video. As someone that is constantly on the move and moving from task to task to task, it's great to see that one of life's most essential tasks, cleanliness, is something that we can make easier and even automate it. These guys understand that quite well and are even here with a full living room setup to showcase all of that. The Saros 10 is already cleaning around me right when I'm filming in this living room area, so let's take a look at that shot. <laughs> All right, let's start things off with the classics. Sometimes you just need to take things into your own hands. That's where the F25 series comes in, as smart stick vacuums that you can easily grab whenever the need arises. It's a wet and dry cleaning mop and vacuum, so you get the spills covered just as much as any crumbs or bits that fall on the ground. The beauty behind the F25 product is that it can easily figure out what things on the ground it needs to employ various tools for all in one single stroke. And that means not needing to change the modes yourself, although you can certainly do that. The F25 series can also reach the pesky corners and edges thanks to its design that reaches into those crevices. Often some of the things that make the vacuum brushes tangle are in those crevices, but Roborock's jaw scrapers help to make sure that tangles don't happen. Of course, it all comes down to the feel. The push and pull of the F25 is nice and smooth, so this is a good companion to have when you need to put in some of that elbow grease. And when the F25 vacuums are back in their homes, the self-cleaning ensures that the brushes stay fresh and the roller gets dry, ready for when things might need to get cleaned up again. When the proper need strikes, however, you might already have a handy cleaning companion ready to do its rounds in the form of Roborock's new Saros 10 and the Saros 10R. These autonomous robot vacuums like the Saros 10R, which has been running around me while I'm filming this uh, talking head portion, uh, they may look familiar, but they are actually smarter than ever before. First off, we have the Saros 10, a vacuum with powerful suction that can also duck undercover when needed. That's right, the LDS module that usually sticks out from the top can simply retract into the body, making it so that the vacuum can easily reach under low clearance areas like underneath tables and couches. There is still LiDAR hard at work here, including a sensor that is upward facing so that it can tell far ahead of time when the clearance requires the LDS to come down. They call it Retract Sense, and it allows the Saros 10 to reach more places than typical robot vacuums. The Saros 10 can also adjust in the opposite direction, sporting a lift of up to 4 centimeters so that it can get over incidental bumps in the terrain like doorway jams. But it also means that this vacuum can apply its cleaning and roll over thicker carpets with higher pile. For a lot of the households that might have some trouble with some of the more intricate furniture and the super fluffy carpets, these features on top of anti-tangle brushes make for a highly capable cleaner. While the mop of the Saros 10 and the 10R, they can both detach and continue drying or they'll just chill in the base station during cleaning cycles that require just the vacuum. On the Saros 10, there is also an extra brush that is separate from the detachable mop that actually lifts and lowers to help with edge cleaning, showing that Roborock really has thought of a lot here in the Saros line. And that would bring us to the AI recognition tech that goes into the vacuum's navigation system. We talked about LiDAR before and all of the sensors that you'd expect are on these robot vacuums, but Roborock have further outfitted the Saros 10 with a triple light system that can detect obstacles in the nick of time, right down to having a millisecond response time that helps the vacuum clean more comprehensively because it can get closer than ever to an obstacle before moving to get around it. Now that light array called the VertiBeam can also recognize the depth of objects in a vertical sense so that the top of the vacuum is not going to bump its head on a slope that is coming above it. And finally, when it's time to get back to the base station, the Saros 10 and the 10R both have multifunction and very smart home bases that help with the maintenance of the actual robot unit. Speaking of the mop, the mop cleaning in the base in the rear portion can actually heat up the water that is used to clean the brush. So if there are like peskier stains on it, the higher temperature water can tackle it better. And then if you have an especially large cleaning area that needs multiple passes, or if you just want to do multiple passes on whatever area you do have, this dock can actually fast charge the battery in two and a half hours. Now, between the two, the Saros 10 has a bit more suction power, but the 10R is no slouch. It also doesn't need to slouch at all because, as you can see, it is super thin by not even having the protruding LDS model in the first place. The 10R is already slim enough to reach under places as a super thin robot vacuum, relying more on the front and vertical looking VertiBeam camera and sensors for all of its navigation and obstacle avoidance. 
Thanks to what they call Starsight Autonomous System 2.0, it is capable of its own split millisecond decision making when it comes to obstacle avoidance, even without the camera and sensor combination that's found on the Saros 10. With the full LiDAR setup on the 10R, the vacuum practically has eyes in the back of its head, so it is keenly aware of its surroundings and the obstacles around it. Other than that, the 10R still retains the anti-tangle brushes and the adaptive lift ability. The base station has many of the same features, including mop removal and cleaning. And you'll notice that the 10R has the circular rotating mop, so it will clean in a slightly different manner, but with all of the same level of convenience and capability. Clearly, Roborock has a lot to offer in multiple scenarios, whether you want a more robust robot cleaning tool, the thinnest possible robot cleaning tool for reaching more places, or when you want to get down to the cleaning yourself. So oh, it's back. But here we go. What if you need an extra hand? Like, quite literally. That's where the Saros Z70 comes in, and this is the one that you've probably been hearing about a lot during this CES 2025. I actually got a good look at it a while back during a preview that Roborock gave right before CES, and my reaction is probably the same as all of yours. First off, it's really interesting how they've been able to make the vacuum as thin as it is considering what is hiding underneath that cover. That's right, an autonomous robot arm is now part of your autonomous robot vacuum. And that arm can literally pick things up to move them out of the way when needed. This is a whole new level of obstacle avoidance, or really, it's not about avoiding the obstacle so much as doing something about it. It's called the Omni Grip, and you can see how it folds out of the cover in the front half of the Saro Z70, rotating around so that it can act upon an obstacle that is recognized by the Star Sight Autonomous System that is found in the Saros 10R as well. That would mean that the Saro Z70 does operate quite a bit like the 10R, given that it has many of the same features. It has the star sight, like I said before, it has the adaptive lift so that it can go over various heights of terrain, and of course the base station will have features that help out with the cleaning of the dustbin and refreshing of the mop. Clearly Roborock knows that this robotic arm is a bit of a showstopper, and it's certainly one of the most eye-catching things that I've seen throughout CES 2025. We're creating a whole new layer now in robot vacuum cleaning, one that just doesn't have to avoid objects and obstacles, but now can actually move those objects and obstacles out of the way itself. Look forward to more on the Saro Z70 as it is coming out a little bit later this year, but of course, if you just need your good old classic robot vacuums or stick vacuums, uh, you do already have them coming very soon out of Roborock, and you can see all of the information down in the description below. And so, there you have it. That's a look at everything that Roborock brought to this year's CES, a showcase of some incredible new technologies that move the vacuum, the sight of the vacuum, and the literal ability of these robot vacuums forward. I want to know all of your thoughts on Roborock's announcements in the comments downstairs, and I want to thank Roborock for helping to bring me out to CES and for sponsoring this video. From there, though, I'm going to go ahead and call it on this one. Thank you so much for kicking it with me again today. Please take care of yourselves and each other, and enjoy your tea, everybody. Whew, all this talking... Oh, it's been days of CES. I really need this to keep my voice. <laughs>